Okay, so another big one. I tried a big one yesterday, which was a complete disaster. Um, one of the problems was that the paint didn't really flow um, over the canvas. So what I've done this time is I've uh, covered the canvas in pouring medium. Um, hopefully this will enable the uh, paint to slide more easily. Apparently it also makes it really slippery. So hopefully I can keep uh, it all in place. So far so good. Um, okay, I'm just gonna get my gloves on. So I've mixed well, probably too much paint, but I had too little yesterday, so I don't um, don't to have too little. Um, there's a white, there's a phthalo blue, silver, dark purple, um, caput mortem red, greyish blue, and white again. So let's see how this goes. Okay. So my whole stripey thing apparently is a lot easier to control with the small cups. Um, so this looks a wee bit messy, but I think I think it's going to be okay. I I, I have a good feeling about this. Um, and I already love how these colours are working together. Uh, have to find a better solution for covering my um, table than the newspapers because they stick really easily to um, to the push pins underneath and the canvas if it touches so but hey here we go um okay so uh, then with loads of paint and corner guards slippery stuff Let's see if I can just slide that up there so far so good uh, get some more down here okay so the paint is a good consistency it's flowing really well um, how this is looking so hopefully I'm not going to pardon my French fuck it up and covering that canvas with my pouring medium was a good idea paint seems to be flowing a lot more easily around so good tip when uh well in general but the bigger the pour the more important be careful when you have paint on your hands and you're moving them uh around because it's so easy to drip paint on the canvas 
and that's a surefire way to ruin a potentially gorgeous painting like this one so keep the focus This is this hard, <laughs> so hard. Now I'm going to take my own advice and I'm going to switch to a new pair of gloves because these are tripping. What do you think? It's looking really good, isn't it? Redemption coming after yesterday's disasters. I actually had like, three disasters yesterday. Uh, one thing is the wasted paint, but it feels kind of shitty as well. Putting hours and hours of work in and in 10 minutes it's wrecked. Oh well. So, I'm loving all these bands, stripy bands of colours. So Try and be really careful with my torching. I don't want like, a big explosion of cells. a little less silicone this time than I normally do. So I'm thinking that's having an influence right now. Torching quite a lot and quite close to the canvas, and with more silicones, there would silicone there would be cells popping up like mushrooms in a wet spring forest or fall, autumn forest anyway. Um, I'm going to leave this for a few minutes just for the cells to pop a bit more and then I'll be back.
Look at how those cells seem to almost change color as um, the layers of paint or the heavier paint starts sinking and the layers underneath start popping through. It's quite cool, isn't it? <sighs> okay, taking a short break, it's quite heavy, uh, hmm. kind of happy with the sides, considering losing some of those at the top. But I see some tendencies of the paint cracking a bit further down. So this is sort of a make or break point. Um, let's see. I go one more round back back and forth. Okay, the cat is up to something, and my partner is trying to understand what. She's probably craving a bit of attention. to see to that when I'm done with this. So carefully losing some paint up there. might regret this, but um, why not? Lose just that band of colour at the bottom towards myself. but keep that kind of tap thing. Let's see. Okay, 
I think this is the point where I should listen to my gut and my eyes and leave it. It's quite dramatic, isn't it? I think I'm loving this one. Okay, clean the edges. As I mentioned, way too much paint on this canvas. Uh, I wanted to make sure I didn't go too easy to kind of redeem myself from yesterday's disasters, get my painting mood back up again. Uh, an expensive moment, but if it makes you feel better, I mean, in the end, it's just paint, isn't it? So, this one I think will both make me feel better right now. But I have a feeling this painting might make someone else feel quite happy as well at some point. So I say it's all worth it. What do you think? Feel free to leave a comment or subscribe or, you know, whatever you feel like. Ask questions. Um, just let me know if you think me making these videos are worth my time and yours. Okay, so thank you for watching.